Hello everyone, welcome back to the Excel 2016 training. In this video, we will take a look at freezing paints. Here is our employee spreadsheet and we'll use a temp to tab to, you know, demonstrate uh, freezing paints. Uh, freezing paints, uh, this particular feature addresses totally different kind of problem with Excel spreadsheet in terms of you now viewing the worksheet. Say, you know, uh, in this particular uh, worksheet, we have a header at the top. It says employee ID, first name, middle name, last name, SSN, etc. And then you have data right below it. Say, for example, if we pick, let's say, row 6, now we know that this particular date is, uh, you know, date of hire. And you know, in this case, we can tell that 65K is a salary, and the next year salary is 67,600. Now, if I start scrolling down and you know, start looking at you know, the data below, as you can see, the header that we had at the top of the table is gone. I mean, you know, it's kind of a little bit difficult to see what the data is. I mean, this could be, I mean, if you have multiple dates, I mean, you'll be totally confused. You will have to remember what this column H is and what this J, what this dollar amount mean to you. In order to address that particular problem, you know, we have, you know, freezing paints. Let me show that to you. The option to freeze paints is under the view tab once you you know make it active it's on the ribbon it's under you know window and you see freeze paints and when you pull it down you have three options you know unfreeze paints freeze top row and uh, freeze first column let's take a look at this let me um, pick the first one which is a freeze top row what it does is it actually freezes the top most row and when you scroll, you know, it's kind of pinned to the screen. So as you scroll, it doesn't matter which uh, or how down you go, you still have the first row and it's the header in this particular case. And it's easy for us to tell what we are looking at. I mean, it's very clear. It says, you know, date of hire. And here in this case, it's salary. And especially when you have multiple dollar columns and multiple dates, it kind of helps. And uh, you also have an option of, you know, freezing the first column. Let me go there and do that. Now, when I scroll down, you know, we are no longer freezing the top row. So that's the reason, you know, it's, it's gone when you scroll it. But what we really did was we picked this option, which is, you know, freeze first column. When you, what it means is when you do that, as you move, you know, to the right, as you can see, the first column, which is employee ID, is pretty much pinned to the screen, meaning you know it's always there. And you know, as you scroll down, you still have your you know the column A here. Unfortunately, you don't have the header though because we did not freeze it. Now let's go back and take a look at the first option under you know freezing paints. Let's go there and do unfreeze pins. So pretty much everything is back to normal. And in order to effectively use the freeze pins option, you need to figure out how you want to freeze it. Uh, say for example, I want to freeze, um, say here, meaning I want to freeze the top row here and the both the columns, the employee ID and the first name. That's where you pick C two in this case, select the cell and then go here and say freeze paints. When you do that, what it does is, you know, when, you, when you're when you here, so anything above that is frozen, anything on the left is frozen. Now, if I go down, you know, scroll down, your header is there, it, it's pretty much pinned to your display. And if I scroll to the right, as you can see, the header is moving, but you know, your columns A and B are pretty much pinned to your display. 
So this allows you to, you know, freeze, uh, uh, you know, row at the top and then, you know, columns on the left hand side, which kind of helps you to properly navigate through, you know, large spreadsheets. Uh, that way, at least, you know, you can relate to the information more efficiently. Um, well, that's it about, uh, you know, freezing pains and I will see you in the next video.